Having spent 12 days on the west side of the UK, we decided to spend two nights at Grafham Water Caravan and Motorhome Club campsites on the way back to East Anglia, which is our stomping ground. Further to my stay, here's a quick, honest and unbiased account of my experience. I should point out that I recorded this review to accompany my Motorhome Adventures blog and I've included a link to the blog in the video description, should you be interested of course. Without further ado, it's on to the review of Grafham Water campsite. The last few miles to the site is on smaller roads and the last three quarters of a mile is down a wide single track road. Fortunately we didn't meet any oncoming traffic and I can only guess meeting another unit coming the other way would be fun and games. Providing the way is clear there is sufficient room to get large units to the site. There were some large motorhomes and mahusive caravans on site during our stay. The first thing I noticed about the site was how clean, orderly and maintained it is. It was obvious that this site is well looked after and the owners wardens have done and continue to do an amazing job. The tarmac road is clean, level and pothole free. The grass is green and neatly cut and the trees and hedges are nicely trimmed. The site definitely has the wow factor. The only criticism I have is that there are no trees or shrubs between pitches for privacy but then very few sites have this so I can't really mark Grafham Water Campsite down for this. The most important pitch feature for the winter months is hard standing Therefore, the pitch I chose was a standard without awning. The pitches are not only huge but also level, and this was the first time the motorhome has ever been totally level without needing any chocking. Since it decided to heave it down with rain during my stay, I can confirm the pitches are well drained too. There are four different types of pitches available, and these include standard with awning, standard without awning, serviced with awning, and serviced without awning. The standard type of pitches are also available on grass, so strictly speaking, there are six different types. The toilets and showers are, without a doubt, the best of any UK campsite I have ever stayed on. The only toilet shower block that I can think of that is better is the one at Nagel's campsite in Southern Ireland and it is only marginally better at that. Back to the toilets and shower block at this site and one word instantly springs to mind, immaculate. With three basin cubicles, three toilet cubicles, five urinals and six showers, I never had to wait. It was late October though, and whilst there were plenty of campers on site, it wasn't full. I don't know what the situation would be in the height of summer, and whether there would be queues or not, but because this is a family site, I would never use it during the summer holidays. There's really not much else to say about the toilet and showers, so it's time to move on. The washing up room is large, houses three sinks and is heated. During this motorhome adventure, we have had to endure outdoor washing up facilities that, whilst adequate, weren't the cleanest and also cold. To be able to wash up in an interior room like this on a cold October evening is an absolute luxury. The washing up room is, like the toilets and showers, immaculately clean and the best of any UK campsite I have stayed at. If you want peace and quiet, this site is perfect. Well, it is during midweek when the kids are at school. This is a family friendly campsite and during the school holidays I can only assume it won't be as peaceful or quiet. Being tucked away down smaller roads means there is no road noise which is great. This campsite is a short walk away from Grafham Water and the visitor centre. Grafham Water may or may not be of interest to you and this is something you need to think about because there is little else of interest in the immediate local area. If you have a car or don't mind taking your motorhome out and about there are more options open and this campsite may well be a good base for you. If you don't like taking your motorhome out and about and are restricted to pedal power or walking you may well struggle to find enough within reach to keep you entertained. Only you know the answer to this. For a two night stay in October, which was the last week before winter closure, I paid just over £33 for a standard pitch with no warning and electric hookup. I think this is an absolute bargain. In peak times the same pitch is a lot more expensive and in the region of 30 odd quid a night. Whilst expensive, it is worth remembering this is a caravan and motorhome club site, it has full facilities and it is the going rate for, this, for a site of this type. The standard pitch with awning and the service pitches are more still. Personally, I think that 30 quid a night for a campsite, any campsite is a lot, and I set my budget 20, at £25 per night top whack. 
Consequently, I would never stay on this site unless there was some kind of deal on. Overall, the Grafham Water site is a great site. It is spotlessly clean, it is well maintained and a very attractive site. The facilities are super clean and easily the best of any UK campsite I have ever stayed on. The only issue I have with this campsite is the price. If there is a deal on, it is excellent value for money. If there isn't a deal on, the price tag is just a little bit too rich for me. If you are more cost sensitive like me, you may well find the standard cost of a pitch a little bit too much. Only you can answer this one.